Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to install Arch Linux with Hyperland, a dynamic tiling Wayland compositor that offers smooth transitions, great animations, high performance, and easy configuration. We are also going to install HyperDots, a project that adds aesthetic, dynamic, and minimal dots to the desktop of Arch Hyperland. HyperDots provides themes, styles, packages, and key bindings to customize and enhance your Hyperland experience. If you are ready, let's get started, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will install Arch Linux on KVM Vert Manager, but you can follow the same steps with me on real hardware. First open Vert Manager, and click on Create a new virtual machine and select Default Choice Local Install Media and click on Forward and click on Browse to choose ISO Now click Browse Local and select Arch Linux ISO Now click Forward CPUs I gave it 4 cores half of my machine cores Memory, give it 4 gigabytes Now click Forward and click Forward again and click Finish Now we boot it into Arch ISO Now use IWCTL command to connect to your Wi-Fi. Type IWCTL, click Enter, and type Station, WLAN 0 Connect, and type the name of your Wi-Fi, and click Enter. Now enter the password of the Wi-Fi, click Enter. Now type Exit, clear the screen, and type Ping, www.arclinux.org, to make sure that you are connected to Internet. Clear the screen and type arch install. We are going to use arch install script to install arch Linux. The language I am not going to change it, I will let it as default English. Now click on mirrors and click on mirror region. Now click on slash and type the name of your country and click enter and choose back. Scroll down to disk configuration and click enter and choose user best effort default partition layout and choose your hard drive. Now select file system for this installation. I will use XT4. Disk encryption. I won't encrypt the disk. I will skip it. Root password. I will skip it because I can enable it later if I want to. Now select user account and select add a user enter username. And enter password for your user account. Retype password again and choose Yes Default. Now choose Confirm and Exit. Now choose Profile and click on Type, click on Desktop and scroll down and choose Hyperland and click Enter. Scroll down and click on Back. Choose Audio and select Pipewire. Kernels, I won't change it. Now scroll down to Additional Packages. I will type Vim and Firefox. You can type name of the packages you want to install. Now click on Network Configuration and select Use Network Manager and click Enter. Now click on Time Zone and click on Slash and Type. Your time zone for me, Casablanca. Now scroll down to Install and click Enter and click Enter again to start installation. Now choose No and type Reboot and click Enter to restart the system. Now click Enter. Now enter your account password and click Enter. Now we are into Hyperland. Click Windows, key plus Q to open Terminal. Now use your favorite text editor for me. I will use Vim. Type vim.config slash hyper slash hyperland.conf. Now scroll down and comment this line. And scroll down. 
and type this line, but change the resolution with the one that your monitor support. Now save the changes and exit the file. Clear the screen and click Windows, key plus R and and type Firefox. This is the HyperDots GitHub that we are going to install. You will find the links in the description. Those are the themes. Important HyperDot script will automatically detect NVIDIA card and install NVIDIA DKM's drivers for your kernel. So please ensure that your NVIDIA card supports DKM's drivers. Now click on code and click on download zip. Now type in the terminal sudo pacman dash s unzip and click enter and type your root password and click enter again. Type y and click enter. Now change the directory to downloads. and type unzip and the name of the directory hyperdots-main.zip and click enter. Now click on Firefox and click on Control Q and click on Quit Firefox. Clear the screen. Now change the directory to hyperdots-mine and change the directory again to scripts. Now list the files. Now type dot slash install dot dot sh and click enter. Now type Y and click Enter. Now type number one and click Enter. Now choose number two to use Peru or number one to use Yai. For me, I will type number two. Click Enter. Now choose one as default and click Enter. Type Y and click Enter again. Now type your root password and click Enter. Type Y and click Enter. Type Y and click Enter. Now choose one and type it as default 
and click Enter. Now choose one and type it as default and click Enter. Now choose one and type it as default and click Enter. Type Y and click Enter. Type Y and click Enter. Type Y and click Enter to accept changes. Now type Y and click Enter again. Type Y and click Enter. Now type your root password and click Enter. Now type your root password and click Enter. Now type Reboot and click Enter to restart the system. Now type your account password and click Enter. Now you can enjoy using HyperDots with different themes and marble wallpapers and more. You can customize and enhance your Hyperland experience with themes, styles, packages, and key bindings. Marble wallpapers are beautiful and elegant backgrounds that can add a touch of class to your desktop. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and useful. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Your support means a lot to me and helps me create more quality content for you. Thank you and have a great day.